Okay guys, we're part way through this. Uh, it was actually quite a bit of work to try and get this one going a lot faster. But, under the seat is where the actual shifter was. That actually had to come off of this differential right here. And we took the big fucking uh, pulley off of it. Whoop. This is the original size pulley. That is a big bastard. Look at that. 10 inch pulley. <laughs> no wonder the garden tractors are so slow. So now what we have is a four and a half inch. Couldn't find any good steel ones. Just like that. She's gonna be quick as a son of a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, he's gonna definitely have some nice ground clearance on this thing. I've got the motor put in already. Just gotta wire it up. Put the pulley on here. And put the axle back underneath. It's only four bolts holding the axle on. All you have to do is take the brake lever off. Take the brake lever out in the, right here. This brake lever. Take that off. Take the four bolts off the bottom of the axle. Jack it up. Pull the axle out. Swap out the pulley. Put her back in and we're ready to go. So we were hoping we were able to access the pulley without having to take the axle axle off by undoing all the bolts and hoping this backing plate would come off but we found out we couldn't see but it's actually welded so we got to put all that back together so it's just as easy taking the axle off and we'll have that one done looks like the boys are getting ready to get this old modal mold cleaned up and painted and put back together and I have a new wood stove. So now I have to build my wall here. I'm going to move that bench, that cabinet, up against this wall I'm going to build. And then I'm going to put the wood stove here and route it behind that mud flap there. Or that, uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> But yeah, there's a uh, vents on the other side of that route, the piping all through there. And she's going to be nice and toasty in here this winter. But yep. Picked this up today pretty damn cheap. Guy okay, gave me some insulated piping. It's like 70 bucks in the store for that stuff. For one length. And we got massive area in there to burn so that's ah, gonna be sweet gonna be able to work in here in the winter when it's gonna be able to work in here in the winter when it's like fucking minus 20 out and this will be done tomorrow Dan could could make it out make it out today his old lady was whining you don't spend any time with me. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We'll keep you up to date on that one.